From Harry Simon, ring a bell? Check, please. Reason number 14. This is a very busy time of year at work for me. And reason number 15. I am all too aware every morning in the privacy of my bathroom that many moons have passed. I don't think I want to go on national television and share that realization with millions of people. Come on, Deborah. I think the three of us look pretty damn good. For our age, we do, Chris. And I'm, I'm sure our reviews would include phrases like well-preserved and held up so nicely. And what if they do one of those montage things? Here they were then, here they are now. We'll sue. Coffee, wine, what? Anything, whatever's easy. Not exactly softening on this issue. Just got here. Watch this. Another thing. You know what I don't understand? I used to keep an alphabetized list. For the last three hours, you two have been telling me what great lives you've got going. Chris, you've obviously stumbled across marital and maternal perfection. Vicki, here you are packing them in at the hottest spot in good old Norristown, not to mention your relationship with this Donald person. I can't believe you still do that. What? Do you know that you've referred to every guy I've ever dated since I was 13 years old as this person instead of a simple Donald? No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Have I? Yes, yes, you have. I apologize. I accept. Thank you. You're welcome. What was I talking about? Oh, um, I think you were about to ask us, uh, why this is so important to us if our lives are so full. Oh, right. <clears throat> so? Um, so how about because it would be fun? How about the money? How about because I happen to be very proud of the fact that we once had the number one hit in the country. How about the first class all expense paid trip to L.A.? How about the chance to be together again and really relive some old times? What did you do? Rehearse this on the plane? Yes. Nice try. Try this. How about you owe us one? What? Pop quiz, Deborah. Which bouffant, after one measly hit song, simply packed up her lead mic and walked away without so much as a sorry, guys? Vicky, let's, let's... The same bouffant who thought it might be a little classier to go out on top. Oh. The same bouffant who got a little tired of being accused of stealing the lead mic from its rightful owner. The same bouffant who wanted to get on with her life, instead of singing the same old song year after year, beating a dead horse. Is that what Chris and I became to you, dead horses? Is that what Michael Page became? Look, I think we're Whoa, really getting on the subject No, wait, wait, wait. Just... No, since when did you become a champion of Michael Page? You hated Michael Page. You see, Deborah, that just goes to show how... Excuse me, can, can we just cut through all of this? We're talking about two weeks. Two short little weeks. Now, is that so much to ask? <sighs> Look at us, sitting here together again after all these years. I mean... Doesn't this bring back some terrific memories? Have I ever mentioned that five minutes with you always makes me want to run out and feed a deer by hand? Come on, it'll be fun. We'll go big bye-bye oh. on a plane, and we'll, we'll shop, and we'll get tans, and we'll make a lot of money. We'll get to see where Dick Clark lives, and maybe even a net food cello. Don't touch my cheek. You know, I've always hated that. Honestly, three nights ago. Sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, Chris, look. This must be that Joseph person she was telling us about. Very cute. Who'd you steal him from? I'm begging you, stop doing that. Deborah, he's adorable. Yes, he is. Uh oh. Did I just hear a lack of enthusiasm? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. What's this? 
I don't see even one of his shirts hanging in my closet. I get it. These pictures came with the frames, didn't they? Joseph and I are at sort of a crossroads right now. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. What is it? Well, there's this great apartment that he wants the two of us to move into together. And after two years, that's not exactly an unreasonable request. It's just that I have this terrible feeling that if we live together... But if I keep putting him off, you know? You know what it sounds like you need? What? Time to think. Of course, I need time to think, Vicky. Who has time to think? We can buy you two weeks. How about that? Come on, Deborah. You're being called upon to make a decision that will affect the rest of your life. You're in the kind of situation that cries out for the kind of perspective that only something like, oh, I don't know, a trip to L.A. could provide. Oh, you are absolutely right. Deborah. you owe it to Joseph, not to mention yourself, to just get away for a while. What do you think? I think you two are the most relentless transparently opportunistic people I have ever met in my life. Of course we are. So what's your point? Two weeks, huh? Ah, oh, what the hell. Oh! <laughs> Stop that. Right. Our way is saying goodbye and good luck. And we hope you're going to remember us little people who made it all possible. Oh, of course I am. What was your name again? <laughs> Joseph, I thought you wanted me to do this. Good. Thanks. I, I know the timing is not the best in the world for us, but you wouldn't believe how important this is to Chris and Vicky. Ted, well, just tell him that your significant other had to fly to the coast to become a star. You know, you can hold out fine, and if not, um, I'll call you when I can. You okay? You sure? Your voice sounds funny. I love you. Okay. You knock them dead out there, honey. Oh, and if you run into Vanna White, you tell her your daddy thinks she's got the cutest little fanny on TV. <laughs> I'm sure Vanna cares what you think about her fanny art. <laughs> now, sweetheart, you do the very best that you can, and if things don't work out, just be sure it isn't your fault. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> we gotta go. Bye, bye, bye. I love you, Mom. I love you, I love you. See you in two weeks. Be good. Oh, you'll bye. be fine. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Well. So, oh, this is quite a switch. You seeing me off to an airport. You don't have to look so happy about it. Well, I'm excited for you, okay? Relax. Kidding. I was kidding. So, I'll see you in, in two weeks in L.A., right? I hope so. I'm gonna do my damnedest. I love you, Bobby. I know you do. I love you, too. I got it. Oh, bye. What? Bye. Okay. okay. Listen, Gary, I'll stop by the hotel in a couple hours. Make sure you got everything you need. You know, this is going to be a great special. I'm really happy you can be with us on this. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. All right. Oh, there they are. Hi. Ooh, good to see you. Oh, Harry, Harry. Yeah. Uh, was that Gary Puppet? Yes, it was. That would be five dollars for greens. Can you break a hundred? Yeah. God, you annoy me. <laughs> I'm dying to know what made you change your mind. Me too, Harry. Listen, if you're not too tired after your interview tonight, how about dinner? We'd love to. <laughs>
Okay, girls, here are your itinerary for the next two weeks. Uh, relevant dress codes, phone numbers, all that kind of stuff. You will have a driver at your disposal 24 hours a day. And yeah, you, you've got to leave here by 6.30 tonight for that interview. And tomorrow's gonna be a fun-filled day of rehearsals and wardrobe fittings. <laughs> We're on a waiting list for a three-bedroom, but in the meantime, this is the best we could do. Don't worry about it, Harry. We worked this out 25 years ago, really. Good, I hope so. Whoa. Whoa. This is really nice. Wow. Ah. Oh, it's fabulous. Wow. This is really pretty, Harry. Well, anyway, if you don't need anything else, I think I'll take off. I'll let you ladies get settled. I'll see you later. I'll exist for no other purpose. <laughs> See you at the interview. Bye. Bye. Oh. Deborah, I forgot to say, break a leg, love Joseph. Oh, so sweet. Oh. oh, relax and enjoy. We're proud of you. All our love. Bobby Taylor, Adam, Mom, and Dad. So and during your stay, don't forget to visit our new after hours sushi bar. The management. Donald and I have these little pet names for each other. He calls me Love Bunny, and I call him the management. Well, um, we better get ready or we're not gonna be dressed in time. Oh, no, she's starting already. Yes, yes Mom. Mom. Oh, who's gonna bungle on? Coin. Okay. Call it. Tails. Yes, thank you. Um, I'll take that way. Okay. He stomped over to the foot of the stairs and turned around. He put his little hands on his little hips, looked us right in the eye, and said, so, fine. I'm going upstairs, and I'm going to waste toothpaste. <laughs> Bless his heart. You know, you wouldn't remember this, but I did an interview with the three of you for my high school paper. I mean, longer ago than I think any of us would care to admit, when the Buffons played Des Moines. I remember playing Des Moines. I do. It was May 1962. I, I kept scrapbooks. I, I even brought some. Say, there's good news. <laughs> what can we say? She also sends mimeographed Christmas letters. In fact, that was pre my boyfriend's back. We were still singing uh, The Way Would Win and doing our big salute to Teresa Brewer. And of course, closing with the Moments, Moments to, to remember. remember. Why, of course. Oh, well. See, we were chosen from the girls' glee club to sing Moments to Remember at our eighth grade graduation. That, that's how we were discovered. One of our classmates' father was a record producer. And so, well, that song has always meant a lot to us. For old times' sakes, how about doing a few bars? Right now. Well, oh, Come it's on. been quite a... Well, okay, well, let me give it a try. Uh, hmm... That New Year's Eve, we did the town. The day they tore the goalposts in the moments to remember. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Uh, back to that uh, interview I was talking about. I was too shy to ask this question back then, but since those days are gone. Oh, if this is about me and Bobby Rydell, it's all true. 
<laughs> no, no. When Deborah clearly emerged as the sex symbol, or shall we say the superstar of the group, did it create any friction among the three of you, or was your friendship strong enough to overcome that? No, there was, there was no friction. In fact, Vicky and I were just thrilled for her, really thrilled. For us, um, the friendship always came first. Deborah McGuire, senior vice president of marketing in a multi-million dollar corporation. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they're kind of a kick. How would you like kind of a kick? Well, how are you girls doing in here? Oh, is this adorable or is this adorable? You just look like three little dolls standing here. Three of the cutest little dolls. <gasps> could you just die? I mean, really, could you just die? Yes, we could. In fact, if death is an option, we'll take it. Are we having a problem here? Surely you weren't told to do this. No, no, no. I stayed up all night making mini dresses because there was nothing on TV. Of course I was told to do this. I was told to create something that's evocative of the 60s. These are evocative of the 60s. You know something, guys? This really is beautiful work. I have never felt so ridiculous in my life, and I'm not wearing this. Neither am I. Do you think you can just ride in here on your high horses and order me to start over? We're not asking you to start over. What if we bought our own dresses? How about that? Frankly, with these attitudes, you can prance out on stage in dish rags for all I care. Yeah? Yes, as long as they match. Why? Why, why, why do they have to match? Well, right here in bold print, under bouffants, did you or did you not wear matching dresses? Yes, we yes, all did. Yes, we, yes, we, did. Yes. we also wore ten foot tall hair and training bras. Oh, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lady. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Are you trying to get me fired? No, 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 please, please, no, no, please, please, don't cry. Um, we'll wear matching dresses, won't we? You're very kind. It's okay. It'll be all right. We'll, we'll, we'll wear matching dresses. Thank you. I like these dresses. Bitches. Oh, there you are. You are not taking one step out of this room until I get an autograph from my sister in Ypsilanti. I cannot tell you when I told her that I, I was making a dress for none other than Miss Mary Wells. <laughs> I thought she was going to have an absolute conniption. <laughs> well, sure, I don't mind. But the stress. What about it? Hey, he knows that you've been trying. been 25 years, hasn't it? <laughs> Smoking for most of them probably didn't help. No, no, I'm, I'm sure that... Uh... Daddy? Uh, thank you. Look, I know everything's gonna be okay uh, once she loosens up. Is that something we can look forward to in this lifetime? Well, what do you want? It's been two days. Okay, let's take five, all right? <clears throat> Harry, can I talk to you? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm so humiliated. 
I apologize. It's not your fault. Don't apologize. Besides, I don't think it sounded that bad. Oh, Chris, please, let's at least be honest. Let's do. The way we're sounding, I wouldn't hire us to sing at the opening of an envelope. Question is, what are they gonna do about it? Here they come. Okay. Eddie's got an idea. Look, I hate to do this, but we're running out of time until taping and our backs are pretty much to the wall. So, Vicky, how would you feel about singing lead again? Are you serious? Harry said you did it before, right? And you're still singing. Your voice is strong. Deborah, would that be a problem for you? Uh, excuse me, Harry, but didn't you build this whole special around my boyfriend's back by the bouffants? And that's what we're delivering. I was up front on that song. I know that, but I mean, with all due respect, what difference will it really make? I mean, who's gonna remember? Can you name a Shirelle? So, are you okay with this? I'm great with this, trust me. Chris? Oh, uh, well, sure, wh whatever works. But we've still got almost two weeks. I'm sorry, Deborah. I really am. Okay, let's get back to work. it a little hard to understand why I agreed to sit on that pig. Deborah, you have got to come and see me sitting on this pig. Not right now. I'm in the middle of something. Hello, Buffon Suite. Why, Harry, I'm shocked. Is this an obscene phone call? And let me just add, it better be. Oh, good. Well, uh, let me slip into the bedroom. The children are here. It's Harry, for me. Excuse me, won't you? 